Hi, this video shows the solution of uh, the error in WPF uh, system invalid cast exception when you select an, um, a row in a data, data grid. So first I show you how this happens. In here we have a small database in WPF and as soon as I click on this row, maybe it was too fast, when I click on there it comes an, an error message which says okay here system invalid cast object uh, exception the object of type anonymous type 6 and then there come two brackets these two brackets means there's a, that's an array, array of a number and a string 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 so this is what you see on the front side this is uh, when you have a, a data grid and you have a number, a number, a field, a string, 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 string. So this is the array there. And now this means we have on this big block is a, a data grid in WPF. And the WPF uh, is when you select something, you will have the selected event here, this one. CTL data grid, that's on the front side, that's my data grid. And inside the data grid, I have a lot of, a bunch of uh, columns. And in the, in the columns, there's a text column, is the first one with a binding of an ID. You simply type in, in WPF and uh, you, and a core uh, UWP, uh, the binding equals, and then uh, the um, apostrophes and the bracket curly bracket and then binding to a, a field so in the background system the when when you load the database uh, this grid we have here in link so we link uh, or link you is a SQL uh, language for loading stuff from a database SQL database here on the left side uh, it's a local database like from SQL Server. And you say there, uh, please give me one, t one table. And in this case, I have a table of, uh, give me a data set of one side is a table, uh, are users, or here these are the workers. And the second one is in which, uh, at which time are time shift are they working? So you have two tables together in one data set. And whenever you have uh, this stuff, when I'm loading these uh, values by uh, uh, rotating through, through all, looping through all um, uh, records, and you simply take that stuff with a var type on the beginning and you throw this one uh, into the items and items is nothing than rows and you're translating it to an integer string 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 like this one and there's a lot of stuff in in there there's that's the uh, table uh, combination and then finally there's a select uh, string and then you see there that's the ID of the, the ID number name and so on. this comes from the different tables and what I want to say finally it's uh, if you simply push it in there it's binded automatically and now what happens is when you select something then at the time before we, t uh, we said the selected item from there I want to know something and this is not possible anymore because it's not a table anymore we have to do it in another way. You can't go type simply the selected uh, item, but further you do the following. You go through the uh, value. We go through the selected value, but for this you have to set on the front side, selected value path is one of those fields. So whenever you click on something, uh, when you say this is the selected value path it's a field in usually it's the, f the first field in the row uh, in this uh, column then this value will be bound and be will be visible there so what we do now again is we say this is our my workers 
when I, whenever I click on there, I say this is my data grid, and data grid, and this gives me back the selected values here. This is a simple number two. It's not a, the grid array anymore, and the data grid itself has this selected item. Selected item, where are you? Somewhere there. Selected item, and you see the se selected item is the array. But uh, what we only want is the bound um, column. So this is the column uh, one ID, uh, ID of the worker, of the user, and then you may simply translate it or convert it to an integer, and then system goes on and loading that stuff. So this is uh, the solution for that problem. You will find it on my website here solved system invalid cast exception uh, for that array and on the same side you will find the code for the data grid for the selected path and the load event is somewhere on this system if you have questions then you may write a comment on uh, on that website or if you have a, a project uh, then you will also send it as a comment.